Hello guys, welcome back to Shiko. So let's start with the second lap of our prompt design and Vertex AI skill batch, which which is get started with Vertex AI Studio. Let's start the lap. Click on the start button. Make sure you perform the lap in incognito mode. Click on I understand. Click on this check box and agree and continue. You are here with the Google Cloud Console. For the task one, we have to analyze images with Gemini. So for that, scroll a little bit. You will see this image. Right click on this image and save image as desktop. Then come to your Google Cloud Console. In the top left corner, you will see this navigation menu. Click on the navigation menu. You will see Vertex AI. Click on the open sub menu, and here you will see create prompt. Click on this create prompt button. This UI will appear on your screen. The top section is called in system instruction. This right panel, which contains model name, is called the configuration section. And below, here you have your prompt section. In the prompt section, uh, click on this icon. Click on upload. and upload the image you just copied on your desktop now come back to the manual copy this text paste it over here before submitting the prompt in the right panel click on this advanced button check that the region selected is your region here my region is us central 1 so i have selected us central 1 here okay now submit this prompt after submitting the first prompt copy the second text and paste it and submit it after the second prompt copy this third text and paste it. now coming to the second uh, second instruction copy this image analysis and select the untitled prompt and name it as image analysis enter coming to the 11th line copy this text and paste it over here copy this text and paste paste it over here and submit it so this kind of table will appear then copy this prompt paste it over here submit it once we are done with all the prompt in the top section you will see a save button click on the save button make sure the region is same and save it don't worry it will take some time this may take some time so you have to wait as all the prompts are saved you will get a notification coming back to the manual we are done with the task 1 click on check my progress and check your progress you got the green tick that means you have successfully done the task 1 coming to task 2 is to explore multi model capabilities for that come back to the navigation menu coming down you will see cloud storage click on the open sub menu and you will see buckets click on buckets in this bucket section in the top menu beside the gemini sign you will see activate cloud shell open this click on this and open the cloud shell you will see this kind of ui click on continue click on authorize now coming back to the manual copy this command paste it over here and before clicking the enter button just edit your bucket name here you are provided with the bucket name copy this and paste it over here at last now click enter after this click on the navigation menu click on vertex ai and click on create prompt below in the prompt section again click on this add media icon now here click on this import cloud storage select the name of your bucket and select this train dot mp4 video click on select button come back to your manual click on this uh, copy this title the video text and paste it again come back to the manual copy this describe the video in detail text and paste it and submit it ready the results here we are done with task 2 coming to task 3 In this task, we will study about different prompt design methods: zero-shot prompting, one-shot prompting, and few-shot prompting. In the zero-shot prompting, uh, we just give, we just prompt the question. But in one-shot prompting, we give an example for reference, and in, in few-shot prompting, we give small number of examples for reference. Now, coming to the lab. And for zero shot prompting what we have to do is above in the toolbar you will see this delete icon and a clear text 
Click on this delete icon. This will clear all your prompts. Copy this text and paste it over here in the prompt section and submit it. Study the results. Now, this was the example of zero shot prompting. After zero shot prompting, click on the clear button again. Delete this. In the prompt section, beside this add media button, you will see the add examples icon in the bottom. Click on the add examples icon. Come back to the manual. Copy this in input field and paste it under the input field name. Again, come back to your manual and copy this output field. Paste it under the output field. Click on add examples. Copy this text. Copy the text on line number 7 and paste it inside the input field of the prompt section. Now, come back to the manual. Copy the text from line number 8 and paste it under the prompt section. Submit it and study the results. Come back to the manual. Copy this green from here. Beside this answer the following question, you will see a pen icon. Click on this pen icon and you will be able to edit the input output fields. In this answer the following question, paste the green text we copied and now submit and you will see the color of the sky is blue as your result we are done with one shot prompting now we will do few shot prompting for that again come back to the prompt section clear the prompt click on the add examples button below we have to add multiple input and output fields for that come back to the manual you will see this table copy one by one all the input and output fields and paste it over there so i am copying this first field of input and pasting it over here I will copy the output field and I will paste it over here. After that, I will copy the second field. This is we are performing the sentiment analysis on our model. So we will click on add examples. Then come back to the manual. Copy this text from line number 6 and paste it on input field. Copy this prompt from here and paste it under the prompt section. Submit it and study the results. Once we are done with all the prompts, copy this sentiment analysis from line number nine and paste it over here in the top section paste it and enter you will see sentiment analysis over here after this save save your prompt come back to the manual and check your progress and we got the green tick now coming back to task four in the task four we will design prompts with context come back to the navigation menu vertex ai under the vertex ai studio create prompt click on the create prompt in the system instruction section you have to paste this text so copy this text from here up in the system instruction section paste it copy this copy this prompt and paste and submit now copy this text from line number eight clear the first text we just pasted in the system instruction system Again, paste text we just copied. Copy the from copy the prompt from line number nine and sub. You will clearly see the difference in both the prompts and both the text. This is how you give the prompt. Now, once we are finished with the prompt design, copy the support technician helper from line number eleven and name this prompt section as support technician helper. And we are done with the task. Click on check my progress and you will get a green text. And we are done with the lab. Click on end lab. Make sure you get all the points. If the points are not visible, wait for a few minutes. It will be visible to you. And we got our 100 points. Now you can end the lab. Thank you. Bye-bye.